Yo, Cloud TV. Yo, yo, Bali Fest, bro, was cracking, bro. This Cloud TV, man. How you been doing, brother? Yeah, I don't know. I've been outside chilling. Man, that's why we hit you up, bro. We've been seeing your ass going crazy. We've been seeing what you've been doing, bro. Uh, I think this like our fifth interview, bro, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. This is like our fifth interview. Oh, my soul, bro. I seen that you dropped that Stump the Yard. I'm digging that Stump the Yard. That motherfucker at like, what, 2.5 right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I seen you drop that October the 29th of 2022, bro. Uh... The bars was diabolical, honestly, man. I heard a lot of your stuff, Bally, and you usually go crazy on everything you make. What inspired you to make this Stump the Yard? Because that was one of my favorite movies, actually. But what inspired you to make this song like this, bro? I've been stepping on shit, like, man. Like, if you had the lyrics, man, I got, I got myself in a little situation, a little situation happened. My fuck blew my car down. Got hit like three times. Man. I'm still alive though, you feel me? So that was really just like a little response, a little response. That wasn't even the whole way so response. I just touched on the situation a little bit. Right. Like nigga, niggas had to snake me. Right. They couldn't take me type shit, you feel me? Okay, and this 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 a different this a different shooting from the last one when you told me your car got shot up on the last interview, right? Yeah, this is a different incident. Man, yeah. God is good, bro. I'm just happy you okay, Bali. Yeah, listen, what you know? I know what I signed up for. Right. Yeah, I know what I signed up for. I'm that. Okay, okay. All right, man. I'll see you. Uh. You shot that video with Lou Visuals. I see Lou Visuals. He been going crazy. A lot of people been asking me about Lou. You know, a lot of people yeah. did videos with Lou. I know y'all been connect connected for a minute. What's the relationship with you and Lou, bro? Lou, that's my boy, man. I had him on first on IG. He's doing our DNA stuff. Yeah, I'm going to first video, all right? Right. Okay, okay. I see. My boy, Melly Mel, just hit like DNA. I almost got an M on for shit. Okay, okay. All right. He's going crazy. He's going crazy. Okay, okay. And I also see. Uh, I see that you you just dropped. Well, you dropped in September, September the twenty third. You know, it was the Bali Rich man. You 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 did a whole yeah, nother flow. The Bali Rich man. That was that boy at damn that five right now. You shot that with digital, uh, digital reel, right? Digital reel, shout out digital reel. Okay, okay. My Tell me a little bit about that. My homie Cicero, Cicero on the beat. He, 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 that's his beat. And my right. boy Freaky, Freaky Beats. They did that. It don't even matter. Shout out to them. That's that beat. I did that song in Atlanta in the studio with Miko. Right, um, right. Atlanta, I did that song, and that's just like. Lou me, I'm Bali Rich. I'm not Bali, like, I'm Bali Fest, but Bali Rich, you feel me? Right, your alter ego. Yeah, my alter ego. Right. My real name, Richard, you feel me? Right. I'm Bali, yeah, I'm Rich, so it's like, I'm Bali Rich now. I think that you should, I, with this, I think this you should go with that. I think you should go with that, man. That's dope. Yeah, I might just change my name. Okay. Another thing we want to ask you, man, in Chicago has been hectic. You know, uh, we seen the bulletin from the Chicago police. They was talking about in the year 2023, they starting this new no cash bail law. I guess that means that you can get away with crimes, murder, robbery, and get right back out of jail within 48 hours after you get processed. Did you hear about this new no cash bail law? Yeah, I heard about it. It's because the Cook County, the Cook County Jail... That bitch overpopulated. Right. This nigga, man, it crime happened every day, 24-7 in Chicago. Right. Some of us get locked up. That's the biggest jail. I think that's the biggest jail in the country. Right. It's overpopulated. And tell me a little bit about Division 9. I hear a lot of stories about the notorious Division 9. I hear stories about Glock Dookies. I hear stories about... Crazy stuff that's going on in Division Nine. Have you ever experienced? I'm not going with the jails, man. I'm not going with the jails. 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 I'm not going with the jails
I like five jail calls right now. I had a date. I'm in tunes. I got niggas in every session. Right. I got niggas in eleven. I got niggas in nine. Free my brother. You find a nine one. Free bro. Free him. So you, so you have heard about the Glock Dookies. If you can, for everybody. I was in there when they were shooting Glock Dookies. I was in a hole. My father. My father, I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole for fighting. My father get Glock Dookies. I'm falling off. What the fuck is that snare? Right. I heard like chaos. Then I heard, oh, what the fuck is that snare? Right. Yeah, it smelled like old milk Dookie. Like, it's the smell was... Motherfucker just got put out. One of his ops, but you in a hole. You right. can't get to him. Right, you can't get to him, right. They was doing a lot of woofing the night before. As soon as he popped out, he blocked him. Man. This is all in 2017 when I was fighting my pipe case. I beat that bitch, though. So the, so the Glock Dookie's been around for this long? Yeah, it been going on. Like, motherfuckers get robbed with the Glock Dookie. And for the people that's on Cloud TV, for the fans and the viewers, could you explain to these people what is a Glock Dookie? It's the, uh, uh, what's the, uh, the Glock Dookie is the, uh, you know, the shampoo bottle, the VH1? The VO5? The, the VO5? Yeah, the VO5. It's piss shit, milk, you know, it's shit, milk, and that motherfucker, nut, all type of shit in the Glock Dookie. Wow. And they let that sit in. They put uh, magic shades in that motherfucker. That dookie gonna burn you. That dookie, yeah. And they said some people. And they said some people found a way to make the weapon extended. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Yeah. The black dookie's crazy. Okay, okay. Well, let's talk about you for a minute, Bally, because you got a lot of fans. You've been dropping, bro. You got a lot of stuff going for yourself. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You've been, you know, we've been seeing you count money, and this is no cap, bro. We've been seeing you count money uh, from what you just showed me, from what you just showed Cloud TV before the video. You know, I can tell you having it, man. Uh, for those people who trying to have it, for those people who trying to save money, uh, what kind of tips could you give these people? Because I know you stay with the bread, bro. How do you, you stop. How you do you, stop. you never fall off? Okay. Right. Don't never stop working. Always trying to get some money and get it multiple ways. You're going to be up. Right. <laughs> and you ain't got to snake nobody to get to the top. Right. Okay. When you work for that shit. Okay, okay. I see I see your dreadlocks got a little longer, man. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm being, uh we 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 doing myself, testing up, all type of shit. Hell long from the I'm not the same person I used to be. It's Bolly Rich now, you feel? Right. Okay, okay. A lot of people I just got I just, I just got custody of my son, I almost a grown man shit, you know? Congratulations, brother. Congratulations, man. For real. Because they think men can't do it, but we can do it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Another thing I wanted to ask you. I know that you ain't really the in-the-house, stay-in-the-house type guy. But I got to ask you because this is based on everybody's childhood. You know what I mean? But yeah. this is basically about video games, bro. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's viral right now, but... It was a game back in the day before we was even in the streets. It was called Dev Jam. Dev Jam yeah. Fight for New York. Dev Jam Vendetta. They thinking about making a Dev Jam Chicago, bro. And they talking about putting Lil Durk in it, Chief Keith, you know. How do you feel about that? I don't know if you ever heard of it, but just because it's trending, I had to ask you the question, man. Like, how you feel about it? Like, I remember playing Dev Jam back in the day. What's crazy is I just seen Lil Dirk like somewhere on Instagram like he a character in a game and he beat niggas ass. I'm oh, damn. GTA. Yeah, like oh gee, he put hands and feet on their ass. Oh damn, he beat niggas ass in this motherfucker. Right. But a lot of a lot of OGs say they wait though that to drop. Could you see yourself even giving it a a game or two? 
If they put me on that bitch, I'll see. I'll see. <laughs> hey. They got to put me on that bitch. Hey, that was a dope answer right there, man. Y'all put Bally Fest on that motherfucking Def Jam, man. For real. I'm, on a, I'm kicking ass. So, uh... Shit, all type of shit. Another thing. I know you stay in contact with your boys, with your homies, your boys. So we got to ask you about your boys. How... Huh. What's up with Drizzy Draco? That's my boy. Oh, oh. How's that with well? Still out with well? Right. Okay, y'all got something dropping for the fans? We ain't got shit dropping right now. But, uh, we got a couple songs dropping. Uh, Drake got a song dropping. 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 Another question we had to ask you, man. They say Trump running again for 2024 president, man. Uh, I'm going to be voting for Trump. I kind of said that too, bro. I honestly don't care what nobody said about me, but I said that too because, you know what? Trump wasn't a bad president, bro. He was actually helping people out. He really hilarious. We need somebody to talk they talk. Biden don't really be talking about right. shit I don't want to love. Yeah. Right. But... Folks know how to hold a conversation. He like, because I'm kind of ignorant. That's what our president, president is. He's going to say whatever you want out of his mouth. True American. True American. Oh, he, true American. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Another thing I wanted to ask you, because you know we wasn't with you during the holidays and nothing like that. But Halloween in Chicago ain't nothing like a Halloween in Chicago. How was your Halloween in Chicago, brother? I was drunk with a couple motherfuckers from Costco. Chilling, getting drunk. Okay. All right. I really don't celebrate Halloween on some religious shit, though. I'm not with that shit. Right. Right. Hey, Bali, man, I be seeing you with your son a lot, man. Like, no homo, bro. You have a handsome young man, bro, a young son, man, a young king, bro. And you know what, Call TV, we honor all the fathers who be with their kids because you know it's a lot of fathers who yeah. don't, you know. Tell me a little bit about your boy, like the vibe when you with your boy. Just like me, crazy. That's for, you see, he like his own celebrity, like I'm my own celebrity. That little boy got his own celebrity. He got his own Instagram, too. Y'all go follow myself and Bob. Oh, no. Y'all go follow he, Baby Ball. Okay. My son can't be dirty. I talk about people's kids too much. Don't oh, Every time I see Baby Ball, he got on some Gucci or Louis or something new. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, Baby Ball be free. Man. You see him with his little drill too? Yeah, Baby Ball be flexing, man. Shout out Baby Ball, bro. The freshest kid on earth. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, another thing a lot of fans been asking me about. They've been asking me weird stuff, Bally. They've been asking me about Chicago food. A lot of people DM me and ask me about a thing called the gyro sandwich. How do you feel about the gyro sandwich in Chicago, bro? Is that a sandwich you was brought up on since you was a kid? Because it's a lot of outsiders that's looking in. Could you explain to them what is a gyro sandwich, brother? Right. I know how to make them bitches myself too. Oh, you know how to make them from scratch? From, from home. You know they got the little kit in the stove. Ah. Yeah, got the kit at the uh they sell them so much out here. They, you feel me? They got the own kit you do so so. Okay, alright, okay, okay. Uh another thing we wanted to ask you, uh Surviving Chicago, a lot of people say you got to move different when you high profile. I know you is very high profile. You know, we know you got them bucks. We know that you is not normal. Like, honestly, you're not a normal person. And we know that you stay safe, man. You know, it was a couple attempts, but it was something slight. You always get something new, you know. 
You always yeah. get a new whip. Uh, as far as safety in Chicago, is it okay to hang out at house parties or hang out on the block and stuff like that? How do you got to move to stay safe in Chicago? Do you need well, tents? Like, how I move, what type of nigga I am, I go on a party, do what I do, and leave, right? Out, out that bitch, I don't stay like I might this is my little this is my little trick. I smoke two woods in that bitch, I'm out of that. Right. I'm the same who I wanna see, I go, I go in that bitch, smoke me some weed. Smoke my weed down, I'm gone. I ain't I ain't trying to kick it. <laughs> you know, I, I oh my god. So I'm gonna smoke some weed, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gone. Like 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 I'm gone. It's another question I wanted to ask you. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I didn't ask you this question. If I did, excuse me, but I'm pretty sure I did it. I'm confident. Call TV confident, bro. But as far as house parties, uh, as you said that you was you would smoke, you would wood, you would dip out, you belling in, you belling out. A lot of people in these type of cities, they have security at, at parties. You know, they don't really. I mean, you can do stuff, but it's like a limit to what you do. In Chicago, I heard a, it's there's no limit. I heard there's no security. People can walk in with all type of machine guns and weapons. Uh, is it security at your house parties there? I want a couple, uh, couple parties of security out here, but it's still way too much to get the bitches in, you know? Right. Okay. All right. Yeah, because a lot of people say, I want to never go to a house party in Chicago. It's too many blicks. It's too many 30s. They want to know. You just answered that question for them. Like he said, in some parties it is, in some parties it ain't. Uh, what's up with the video, man? Uh, you going to drop something else for us, man? We got Stump the Yard and we got Bali Rich, bro. We need another one, bro. I'm going to drop something real soon. That bitch called Preach. Ooh. The, my next song called Preach. It, 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 it's a, uh, produced by Sister on the beat. Shout out 808 Mafia, you know. Shout out the Nero fans. I'm from that bitch gonna come out in December. Okay. All right, and, all right. I'm dropping something every month. Every month. So you burning like wildfire. You dropping every month. Every month. I'm black or something. I ain't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm real relevant with my shit. Right. Okay. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people ask me, you know what I'm saying, about basically, you know, downtown in Chicago, uh, Downtown in Chicago was labeled one of the best places, one of the safe, safest places you can go, you know, to bail out the hood type deal. You can go down there, eat you a hot dog, you know, Navy pill, ride you a couple fares. They saying it ain't safe like that no more. Uh, they say multiple children has been shot. As everybody know, FBG Duck, uh, he died in downtown as well. And it was a few people after that who died in the Gold Coast area. Is downtown is like is it the hood now or you know is it are you still able to go down there and eat you a good hot dog or what's going on with downtown right now? I still be downtown chilling. Okay. Yeah, I was say I'd be downtown more than any other like you feel me. I'd be in the burbs a little bit. I might go out to eat find a burb somewhere. But I'd be downtown what I'll be in a bird. Right. So it ain't that bad like everybody making it seem. I feel more comfortable down there than being in a hood. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, because people make it seem like it's just a place you can't go have fun no more. But, you know, it's a lot of rumors. I don't know what they sound like. Rumors. Downtown, nice, like the West Loop, all type of shit. All through that motherfucker. Okay. And for the fans who on call TV, 
Did you grow up listening to Gucci Man or did you grow up listening to Jeezy? Like, what, 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 which one better explain you? Like, w which one is your perfect fit? Because Jeezy just dropped a new album, a mixtape called Snowfall, and I think it's going crazy right now. Super duper crazy. A lot of people say that Jeezy got that real money making music. Uh, who did you grow up off? Did you listen to both of them, or was you more of a Gucci fan? Like, what's that like? I'm way more a Gucci fan. Okay. I can't even name you three songs, you know? From Jeezy, I fuck with. Right. I don't go listen to Jeezy. I listen to way more Gucci. Well, I say, I listen to Gucci, and I hear Jeezy. Like, I be hearing Jeezy. Like, I don't play Jeezy myself. Right. It's just like, if I be around, you know, some Jeezy might be on. But I don't listen to that nigga. I'm way more Gucci. You can hear it in my music. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul, bro. I had to ask you that, man. 2023. How's looking yeah. for you, Barley, man? What's up, man? You man, you going to stay independent or you going for the for the big league? You trying to get a distribution? Like, what's up, man? Because you've been in this game man, for a minute. Man, and man. I see you got your own bread. I see you got your own bread. So you really don't need... You know, but a couple, but a couple, a couple M's is always better than, you know, so I'm trying to figure out, you going to say Indy? I don't know. Y'all might finna see a motherfucker sign Right. Right. Real soon, but you know, I'm doing this shit. Hey, Barley, I can see. I'm really putting my music out just to express myself. Just, I'm a, I'm an artist. This is what I do now. It's just like. This is what I just do. Yeah, I'm doing it. I think Def Jam will be a perfect fit for you or Interscope. Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I would say more Empire. You you like QC? Yeah, I like QC. I fuck with QC. I fuck with QC. Okay. And last but not least, the grand finale question. How do you feel, bro? It was a, a celebrity superstar who just recently lost his life due to gun violence over a dice game. And his name was Takeoff. This guy was a celebrity from the Migos, a superstar. A lot of people pay him tributes, you know. Uh, they say Takeoff was the quietest one in the room. He never started no beef. He never dissed anybody. Uh, how do you feel about that? Like, was you a takeoff fan? Uh, do you got any words that, you know, did that impact you? Because I know people die every day, you know, but it was, this was trending. A lot of people was talking about takeoff because they say he was a good boy, man. Like, how do you feel about that? Takeoff. Well, I don't fuck with dice like that. I don't fuck with dice. Right. That's the main reason I don't shoot dice. I love my money too much. You feel me? I love my money too much. That's why I don't shoot dice. I don't even want to catch me on the dice game. Right. That's me, though. That's me, though. But they, I don't know if it's over a dice game or not. But take off. I fuck with take off. Like, I listen to the Migos. Right. When I listen to the Migos. I fuck with take off. That's fucked up, shit. Right. If you can, Bali, you know, could you say all your social medias and give us an outro, bro? Man, it's Bali, baby. It's Bali, baby, 073 on Twitter. Bali Rich, no, underscore Bali Rich, two H's on IG. CB Bali, baby, on Facebook, on phone don't fuck with me and my YouTube channel, Bali Fest. Don't subscribe to my YouTube channel. You hear first, man. We got the king in this boy. We got Bali yeah, Fest. The tape the drop, the album for the drop. Okay. All right. We we going to be looking forward to it because you know we keep tabs on you. Yeah, 2023. All right. And before we get out this thing, could you shout out Call TV one time for the fans? Shout out, shout out to Cloud TV. Hold on. 
Oh, oh, my soul. This is our fifth one. Y'all go check out the other four. If y'all lost, y'all better catch up, stupid, because we this is our fifth one, and we've been going crazy. Me and Bali been in contact, and we're going to stay in contact. You know, this young man is doing everything he can, having a good career, uh, living in luxury. Like I said, hopefully this young man can get a deal in 2023. We see him on IG. We see him on Facebook. We see him on YouTube. Y'all got to get into, like I said, Bali Fest. Y'all go subscribe, bro. YouTube channel. Follow him on Facebook. Like he said, CB Bali. Baby, y'all go follow him. Y'all already know what it is, man. Hey, Bali, bro. You be good out there, bro. All right, better up. All up, man. Hey, it's Cloud TV, and we out of this thing. Gang.